special um, in, in that way that now I, I will work here on a daily basis. Uh, I have been here before as opponent. I know that um, it is more uh, less like a handball temple for, for a lot of people and for, for me as well. It is a, 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 special, um, a special place. Um, so it was uh, with um, a lot of uh, feelings, a lot of thoughts, uh, and of course also looking forward to have a lot of joy and, and happiness in, 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 this, uh, in this arena. It's very clear. Um, uh, I want to, to win all matches. Uh, I, this is my only focus, it is to go into each match uh, with, a, with a big focus uh, to win, to uh, win some titles uh, at the end. Um, but uh, also at the same time to, um, to do it in my way. Uh, it's important for me to, to, to be in my own role uh, that, uh, and I don't need to, and I don't have a feeling that I need to, to be anyone else than myself. Uh, do it my way, uh, of course, together with Christian and the rest of the staff, together with the girls. Um, and it takes time to, to implement different uh, things, um, the, a new playing style, um, uh, both in defense and attacks. But, but in general, uh, the main subject is, of course, to, uh, to win. Always hard to, uh, to lose matches. This is a part of uh, the handball. Um, I think uh, that we must give both uh, our open and teams uh, credit for those two matches, but also, on the other hand, also to see uh, that, um, that we didn't manage to play on our best level. And uh, also, in the, that moment, also lost a bit to ourselves. Um, so um, it gave us uh, something to, to think about for, for the future. Uh, the learning process is always important in, in handball. And, um, and of course, uh, we should now tell ourselves, show ourselves that we have learned uh, something from those matches. It's always interesting to, to have uh, youth players, uh, academy players uh, in, in our daily training, where we use uh, them uh, in, uh, in, in different moments, some of them uh, more than others. Uh, and, and when we have the possibility, we of course also want to bring them into some uh, of the Hungarian league matches. Uh, I think it's, uh, one of, uh, it is an important thing for, for the profile of, uh, of uh, Eto, Audi uh, handball, that, that, we can, that we can be in that way, that, that we know that we are a club who can actually um, develop uh, handball players by ourselves. Uh, and then we will see, uh, it's always difficult to be a talent and it's uh, even more difficult to be a talent in a, in a club like, uh, like, uh, like uh, Eto, uh, because we are a, a place with a lot of very, very good handball players on the very highest level. Uh, so uh, 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 to come as a, a young player in, in, a, in, in an atmosphere um, and um, it, 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 like this, it can be actually be quite difficult. I think it's something, uh, it, it starts uh, a lot about to talk about it, um, that, that we have, uh, that we want to create a culture in the team that uh, the next match is always the most important, um, that the preparation, uh, that everything what we are doing in details, it is to be even better also in the next match. So um, try to be sharp on the small details, uh, keep the, um, the way to stay hungry in the, in the, in the moments. And uh, it doesn't uh, matter if you are a close match or you are in front with 10 or 15 goals, it's still the next detail uh, in, in, in the game who are, um, who are important. And in this way, you can always bring yourself a bit further. And um, as a coach, as a teammate on the field, as a player, you, you, need, to be, um, you need to be curious about how, to, how can we be even better in all those uh, situations. And then step by step, it starts to be, uh, feel in a normal way. It's, uh, it's just what we are doing. It is because we want to play the best handball, more or less, all the times in every minute. We know it's not possible. We know there will be breaks uh, and break out sometimes that where we can say, okay, it, right now we, we don't play that uh, very well handball, uh, but it is something uh, that is in our mind and our target all the time. For me, it, it means of everything. Uh, I, I believe in the way to create a great team, it is to bring players in a comfortable situation. Um, it's really difficult to be comfortable in professional handball um, because um, you have uh, you you want to win, 
uh, you are in a club who also want to win all the matches, so the pressure is high, the pressure is big. And it's my job as a coach to, to talk with the players in a way that, um, that I also see them uh, in another way, not only as handball player. Uh, they need to be uh, treated in a good way, also as a human being. And uh, it's also in my interest that they have a, a good daily life, that they, I know that they are, uh, are comfortable here, um, they are comfortable uh, with the team, with me, but also in the um, also uh, private, of course. And uh, in that way, I, I use the, the talks, in a, in a, of course, sometimes smaller talks, but uh, also sometimes longer talks to to see how are the individual players at the moment. I think uh, I think of course um, uh, the first match for for me uh, when we when we played the first match um, um, was special, uh, of course, because I'm uh, new here. I'm in, in a new club, big club. Uh, um, I put the biggest pressure on myself. Um, I know there is a big pressure from outside, but, but the biggest pressure is, is, is actually from myself. So that will always be a, a special thing to, uh, to make that, um, uh, that start match. Uh, then, of course, uh, in the team, I think there's, that the, the match in Brest was, uh, was quite uh, important in many ways uh, because uh, we put ourselves a bit under pressure because we have just lost uh, uh, our second match in, in Hungarian league. We have a feeling that we could do it better, but we're still struggling a lot at that time, especially in, a, in our defense. And I think that was a turning point for, for us um, in, um, in, in that moment. Um, and, um, and, we, uh, and, and, and we played uh, in moments much, much better in, in Brest than we have done uh, so far in, um, in, uh, in, the, in the season. And if I should choose uh, another match as a match number three, um, there are different options, uh, but, but um, I still think that when we played in GSM, uh, we benefit from the two last matches uh, in, um, in Champions League, uh, in Brest and, and home match against Debrecen, um, because now we also show that, that we can actually play on a high level in, in, in a longer period and, uh, and against a really good team with good individual players as, uh, as well. Uh, and we, um, we play with much more confidence and uh, that, was, um, that was definitely also a good match. It's amazing uh, and it, it will not happen very often that a team can, can start with the first half uh, before the uh, championships uh, for the national teams uh, to, to say that we have the maximum point uh, for, um, uh, in, in our group. Um, we have played very well um, and uh, we have uh, good control in more or less uh, all the matches. Again, with small ups and downs, but, uh, but, but in general, we have lived our stability. And uh, this is what handball is about. It is to create the, the stability in the team so we can be more relaxed and confident what we're doing. And we can say that this is our playbook for this, uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, certain, uh, certain match. Um, and then we need to follow it. We know if we're following it, then we are difficult to beat. And, um, and I think in many, many ways, a lot of things have been uh, done really well in, um, in the past um, three, four months. We are on the right path. Um, we, um, we are much, much, much better now in our, in our defense. In most of the uh, matches, we control very, very well. I will also say uh, more or less in those three uh, matches we just talked about in the last week, we defend actually on a quite high level. I was very satisfied about it. Um, we still have some uh, struggles uh, in, our, in our attack uh, in, in moments. Um, so it's definitely something that we, we have a, a bigger view on in, in, in the coming time. But in general, we also need to lift our defense. We need to be even stronger because we know when we will go into the last two, three, especially last two months of the season, then the best players playing on their highest level. And then you need to really deliver uh, in, in all the details and uh, also in the, in the defense at that time. So we have still a long way to go, a lot of work to do, but we also have a team who are ready for it. Um, our, our way of doing our training, our practices are always really, really good. We have a high intensity, high concentration, uh, and we need to keep on going with that. Of course, uh, looking at our own players, but also see uh, how is the developing uh, in general about uh, the handball? It's always interesting to, to follow the other coaches. How do they create and prepare the matches uh, and, and, and so on? So I will, of course, um, look at the, at the matches in a skilled way that to, to see are there any th new things who are interesting? Uh, and then, of course, uh, hopefully um, wish our players uh, all the best.
I gave you uh, three um, favorites, um, and it will be really, really close. And I'm quite sure it will be one of those three: Denmark, Norway, uh, France. But I still think that uh, uh, that uh, that Norway um, is um, is maybe uh, the biggest favorite.